for the fun of it, I thought I'd make a big coil out of this piece of PVC pipe that I found on a job site and then uh, check to see what the induction is. So I'll fast forward through the building part of it and then we'll test the induction for the fun of it. Here's a link to a vehicle loop detector and a test loop that I've got set up and some more information about in-ground inductance loops and vehicle loop detectors. This was a dumb idea. Looks like uh, we've got old blue done here. Anybody want to guess what the inductance is? Or the resistance? Uh, I'm going to say as far as inductance goes, and we're going to do it uh, in series, of course, at, at 1K. I'm going to say 50, 100, 150. I'm going to say 100. I'm going to say 200 and seven uh, micro henrys for inductance wow so uh 422 oh you know I, I wasn't thinking about the uh size the diameter as well too i think that's a little bit bigger than um some of the other ones i've uh done so I was just going based on that. Um, so that's at 1K. Um, I'm going to take a guess on resistance. Mm, 
let's see. I'm going to say probably 5 ohms. Let's see. Holy crud. Oh. All right. So that's uh uh 8 ohms. I guess for for the fun of it, um although it's something that uh I never really measure. I guess we'll check the capacitance between these. So 52 microfarads. I don't think that means anything. It's not anything that I would test in a in a loop. Um, and the other thing with this is, yes, this is a little ridiculous to uh, to do for a uh, test loop. But uh, the one thing that I did want to do with this, um, I just don't have enough time, was to make it a variable inductor. And what I was going to do was drill a couple more holes. Probably in this case, I was going to split it probably into thirds or fourths. So I'd probably do it every um, two and a half to three and a half inches. And cut away some of the insulation right here. And then make a little pigtail off of it that could give me... Um, another place to make a connection, for instance, if it were um, right here in the loop, I could actually just uh, uh, tag my um, LCR directly there, and then I would get all of these turns, and then I could uh, do the same thing here and here and have little pigtails. So if I wanted to, I could do, in this case, since, um, what were we at, uh, 400? Micro Henry's. Oh, it would help to uh, have it plugged in. So in this case, if I split it in four, so you would obviously have a hundred, a hundred and five micro Henry's, hundred and five micro, or two hundred and ten, and then uh, three hundred and fifteen, and then four hundred and twenty micro micro Henry's. Um, and I'm sure there would be some uh, variance to that. It wouldn't be exact, but it'd be pretty damn close. And check to see how a loop detector responds directly to those different inductances and um i guess that's a proper term for it um and then um as well measure that on the oscilloscope measure that uh the voltage that uh is absorbed and um, released when you increase inductance or decrease inductance and just see how it reacts but uh, I just did this for fun but it's still useful in the fact that it can be used to test the higher end of a loop detector although most of them the top end is in the 2000 micro Henry range um, it'd be curious to see if uh, you do get a, a loop detector to react to different uh, to this high of inductance um, and the other thing is, if you do go do this and you pull some PVC off of a job site, uh, you may want to smooth out these ends before you go uh, and make this. Uh, that was a super pain in the ass to have to dodge all these little jagged ends. But uh, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to document this as well too. Like I did on my other loop. I'm going to put 424. Oops, daisy. 420. Four micro Henry's, and I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna put that at 1k, and this was January of 16. So that's it. That's old blue. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So that was pretty easy to do, and it cost us nothing but time to make this up. The only other thing I'd probably add is if I were going to use it out in the field is a layer of silicone. Uh, I can show you how I how that looks on my demo setup. If you click the link right here, I'll show you how I use it. I'm going to say as in far... I'm going to say as in far...